In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create particle logo reveal animation inside of After Effects using Trapco particular plugin. I've done a couple of videos on this topic and every single time I bring you something different, this one's not going to be an exception. Let's create a new composition. I'm going to name it logo, then drag your logo to the timeline, hit S and adjust the scale if you need that. Then let's create a new composition, I'm going to name it main as the main comp, and drag the logo composition we've just created into here. Then right click new solid, I'm going to name it fractal, because we're going to add fractal noise onto this. Go to effects and presets and search for fractal noise, add this to the fractal solid layer, set contrast to 1000 and brightness to minus 500 and create a keyframe on it at the beginning of the composition. Then go a couple seconds forward, I'm going to go 4 seconds forward and set brightness to 500. Then click on toggle switch modes until you see the trackback colored and set logo's track mode to lumen matte fractal. That will give us a simple logo reveal. Then select both of these layers, go to edit, duplicate, press ctrl d as a shortcut, then search for find edges and effects and presets and add this to the top fractal layer and in effect controls make sure to check on invert. Then select both of these layers on the top Right click, select pre-compose, I'm going to name it emitter. Turn out the visibility of the emitter, then click on toggle switch mode until you see this column and make it 3D by checking the box. Then right click new solid, I'm going to name it particles. Then go to effects and presets and search for particular and add those to the particle solid layer. Let's head over to the effect controls to adjust the particles. Open emitter and set particle per second to 800,000. Then let's open up emitter type and set it to layer. Then go to set velocity to 0, emitter size Z to 50, open layer emitter drop down, and for the layer let's select the emitter and just have these settings up. We're done here, let's move to the next section, the particles, open the drop down to life to 2 seconds, size to 3, size random to 100. Open the size over life drop down, select the presets drop down, select the second preset. Let's move over to the shading. Let's enable the shadow light for main and for the aux both to on. Let's head over to the physics tab, open air, and set the wind x to 150, wind y to minus 90, so they shoot upwards to the right, wind x to minus 100. Let's open the turbulence field drop down and set effect position to 400. Then let's move to the aux system, set emit to continuously, then set size to 3, also color from main to 100. Then go to the physics, set wind effect to 100% and turbulence position to 200. And that's pretty much it for the particles themselves. If you try to preview this, it will be quite heavy, so I suggest you drop the resolution. And once you're happy with it, let's search for glow and add the stylized glow to the particles layer. Let's set glow threshold all the way to 100 and glow radius to 50. That will really improve the shading on our particles, although we cannot see that because we don't have a background. So for that, let's create a new background by right click new solid. Go to name it BG and drop it below all other layers. Go to effects and presets to search for a ramp. Then add gradient ramp to the BG layer. Then I'm going to select the style of ramp and place it in the center of the composition. Then select the end of ramp and place it in any other corners of the composition. Then select the ramp shape drop down and select to radial. Also set ramp scatter to 100. And that's our background done. And now if we go back to the glow settings and turn the glow off, you can see the difference that it actually does. Now let's create a simple zoom out effect by right click new, null object, then go to select the particles layer, fractal and logo layers, and drag the parent pickup tool from any of the layers and drop it onto the null one. Then select the null one and press S, then hold shift and press R to bring up both scale and rotation values. Go to the beginning of the composition, set scale to 250% and rotation to minus 45 degrees, and create keyframes for both. Then move a bit forward in the timeline a bit past the 4 seconds mark, I'm going to move to 6 seconds, set rotation back to 0 and scale back to 100. This will create a slight zoom out effect with a bit of rotation. We can now select these keyframes, right click on any of them, keyframe assistant is a ease. That will smoothen out the animation. Then let's go to the graph editor, make sure you right click and you are in edit speed graph, drag the keyframe on the right and drag the handle to the left all the way, hold shift so it snaps. Then select the left keyframe and drag the handle to the left almost all the way. That will give this animation a bit more smoothness. Then exit the graph editor to preview the animation. And that's how our logo reveal is looking at the moment. So what I like to do here is add a quick light sweep to the logo layer itself. So I'm going to go to effects and presets and search for light sweep. Add this to the logo composition. Now you can see the controller point of our light sweep. So if we drag on it, you can see the light sweep is moving with it. So I'm going to set direction to zero. 
Then go to set width to 100 and sweep intensity to 75 so it's nice and bright. Uh, then again I'm going to move a bit past 4 seconds mark to be 5 seconds and create a keyframe for the center of the light sweep. Then drag the center point to the left so it's off our logo. Then move 1 second forward and drag it across to the right side of the logo. That way once our logo is fully visible we can see this rather quick light sweep going across the logo which looks really cool. After that, let's unlock the layer emitter and select all the layers except the background. Right click, select pre-compose, I'm going to name it logo underscore final. Then search for drop shadow in effects and presets, add this to the logo final layer. I'm going to set direction to 180 degrees, distance to 100 and softness to 200. That will give our logo animation a distinctive shadow nicely separating it from the background. And here we can preview the final work. As you can see, just like that, we've been able to create an awesome logo reveal animation in After Effects using Trapco particular plugin. If you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new, please give this video a like, I would really appreciate that. Thank you so much for watching, we'll see you in the next one, peace out.